Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. So, uh, as the title slide uh, reads, end of PPT, so you may have guessed that we are going to talk about something which can help us do a better job than Microsoft PPT. Uh, I don't know about you, but I always struggle with my opening note, uh, though I know what is the story I'm going to tell and what is the key takeaways, but I always struggle with the opening note uh, when I try to create a presentation. And also, uh, when you create a presentation, you need to make sure that it is type error free. That means you have to proofread it. And also, you want to add or supplement uh, pictures which can help you narrate the story, right? And make it interesting for audience. Um, again, you run into challenges uh, because you want to make sure that the images you are using is not copyrighted image, right? So you spend basically you end up spending a lot of time creating one presentation. So let's see if this new AI tool can help us do our job better, right? So let me introduce you Tom uh, app, and I have created a short presentation using the Tom app itself, which I'm going to play, and then we will come back and take a tour of Tom that uh, Tom app itself and talk about different capabilities. As you can see, this is Tom App's in introduction in generated by Tom App itself. So what is Tom App? Tom App is a modern user-friendly platform for writing, editing, pub uh, publishing blogs, uh, publishing books. It offers a variety of features that make writing and publishing easier and more efficient. Right. So I'll let you read that. Uh, this is the first, first slide created by Tom App about its introduction and how it can be used. Let's go to the next. Another slide about benefit of Tom app. Tom app is designed to make the writing, editing, publishing process easier, more efficient. Uh, you can share, you can create your PowerPoint presentation, obviously not PowerPoint presentation, but presentations because PowerPoint is um, uh, from Microsoft. So you can create your presentation and you can share, collaborate in varieties of ways. You can ask other user to come and collaborate with your presentation. You can share the presentation and we will talk about one caveat in the later section. In my opinion, this is an import, important slide. How much does Tom app cost you? Tom app is free to use with no upfront cost or fees. Authors can use platform to write, edit, format their books, as well as create custom cover art. They can also collaborate with others Tom app also offer a variety of distribution option. In addition, Tom app also support from professional, including editor and other expert. This make easier for author to get their help um, in their book the best they can. So basically it's free to start, but obviously just like any other generative AI tool, uh, when you sign up, you're given certain amount of credit, which you can spend to create your presentation. And uh, as you exhaust your credit, you can always go back and top it up or buy additional credits. Right. As you have seen, a presentation by Tom App itself, getting started with Tom App is really easy and you know how, what does it cost and how to access it. So basically what you can do, you can simply go to tom.app and you have to sign up for first time so because I'm already signed up. Um, it take me to directly to my screen. And here you can see I'm signed up using my email address, uh, basically the Google account. Uh, you can have your settings. Uh, you can invite. So you can have see there is a team. So there is a concept of collaboration, basically, right? So you can create a team. You can add member. You can invite others to collaborate with your document, right? So awesome. Uh, the second thing is what you want to see is uh, as and when you start creating your presentation, they will be shown here. Before we go into presentation, take a look at uh, the bottom left hand uh, side, 425 credits. So I initially when I signed up, I 
you have given some credit i don't remember exactly how much but right now i am left with 425 credit because i have created a few presentation itself right now so if i want to create a new presentation all you have to do is go here and say create and here you will be presented with a title and this is the box so this is a generative ai box uh, which you can use to describe what kind of presentation you want and then you just have to uh, you can select the format what you want you want a presentation you want a presentation outline or you want a story so there are like you know, two or three different kind of things you can create okay also for images you can select what kind of image you want right you have uh, pop art fantasy i generally leave it to auto uh, the purpose of this that when it create a ppt it actually supplemented with images and all the images are non copyright image that means it is safe for you to share uh, publish uh, online right you are not going to get a copyright claim strike um, so how does it generate the images basically it uses dali e2 and i have shown you a video for dali e2 on my um, youtube channel you have also seen chat gpt which is a generative uh, ai text uh, text generative ai so the beauty of tom e is it has integrated chat gpt for presentation created text text creation and it integrated with dali e2 for your uh, image creation so it's it is a ai tool which actually rely on uh, open ai chat gpt and dali e2 right so what you can do you can simply uh, add a file or let's go and keep it simple i want to create a presentation say uh, pi pi 6 e just a random okay maybe i cannot think of anything better so as you can see i just provided a title i can be more descriptive but i think the title was enough in this case and you can see on screen it started creating the slides for me right it will create not just one but a couple of slides like a complete story right. still working all right complete so all let's review the presentation real quick from slide one it has given a nice title then agenda we are not interested into content right we are not uh, learning about wi-fi 6e just just a random topic then it introduce you to the topic it talk about benefit it talk about the application of this uh, technology what is going to be like a future roadmap look like conclusion and questions just like uh, a interactive uh, presentation we create right on any topic awesome and all the images what you see they are uh, very well going on and uh, they are non copyright image again right the other thing what you can do the cool thing what you can do you can actually record narration so as soon as i hit record it actually dropped my one of the camera so not a good idea but you got the point right you can actually go ahead and create narration you can have a video audio video recording the only disadvantage is when you record narration you it cannot let you pass to the next slide until you stop narration so all you can do is like record narration per slide start stop go to the next slide start stop which i think a little bit inconvenience uh, it should actually give me a seamless capability to go to the next and keep on talking but anyways this is how it is all right uh, this is great and what you can do you can click on this plus sign and you can add a title or add a file so basically you can actually see this integrates really well it can you, you can integrate with twitter you can bring images to your presentation you can actually uh, talk to dali e2 here and create some kind of image uh, so there are a, a lot of fun thing you can do let's for example you want to bring a um, website right and i'm gonna say uh, google.com not very innovative but Let's say if I want to insert some thing here, this is my URL, and I'm going to say add. 
ensure this will you click the view correct okay permissions that's correct so you get the point here you can actually add images add table custom arts and everything so a lot of integrations are there okay what else you can do you can actually add so for this slide as you can see i have till conclusion but if i want to add a new page i can simply click here and create a new page but uh, i can choose a layout and other things so it gives you flexibility to do that however what you can do if you're not sure what to write again right you want to add another title uh, automatically another page automatically you can do it with ai create so let me go back to another presentation which i created some time back and uh, sorry about that uh, going back and forth but i want to pick up the presentation which we created using tom app itself about tommy and that's the same presentation you've seen right so this presentation actually ends with uh, how can i get started right and now i want to add a new page so either i can click here and add a new page but let me do uh, ai create so i want to create another page but using ai so let me click here and it asks me that what do you want to add about right so we so far we have seen the advantages of tom tom app let me ask for disadvantage right and let's see what uh, chat gpt or tom itself think about this what are the disadvantages as you can see tom app uh, is intended selection for template and the customization all right so this is additionally since tom app is uh, ai enabled platform uh, so this is this is the disadvantage but let me talk something tangible right instead of reading from it basically uh, this is awesome app it helps you to create content seamlessly you can actually come and edit uh, if you want right you can actually edit the text and uh, you can i'm not going to edit but i'm going to show you just that you have the full flexibility to come and edit the text you don't have to uh, only use the ai generative test so that's the awesome part again this is the advantage let me talk about disadvantage the disadvantage is you cannot download the ppt that's the first thing today you can only share if i click on share here you can see i can invite people i can send link to people so that they can uh, play and uh, probably if they are part of team member they can edit also so that's the very big disadvantage you can only share it or play it online all right um, other than that uh, as i mentioned the recording narration part is awesome but it doesn't uh, let you record uh, from one page to another page you have to start and stop i think that is also one of the disadvantage but we can live with that this is i think a very very beneficial tool to get you started on any topic it integrated with chat gpt and um, dali which is awesome so i think it's a fantastic concept uh, i'm sure you guys will love it and if you start using it let me know how uh, what is your feeling in comment section right so thank you for watching uh, this video please like subscribe share spread a word and thank you very much for watching